Hi there, it's Melissa and I'm back again with the Scrappery today. So what I decided to do was do a mixed media layout because I do get the colour kit and I think it's important to um, use the products that you get. So I decided to use the stencil. I think it came in the kit, I'm not sure because we got some other things too, I think as part of Renelle's birthday, she put some extra goodies in and that's for subscribers too. So what I'm using is the triangle stencil on this um, background paper that looks like um, looks like an eye test or a word find. So um, I'm just putting that gold lux modeling paste through it. Now I'm using a, um, what's it called? Part of the bone folder kit, you have that tool, it's just plastic. I couldn't find an old credit card or popsicle stick, so I'm just using that. And I'm not being perfect about this. Um, I'm just wanting to add some texture and that beautiful gold to my background. So I just, at this point, didn't even know what photo I was going to be scrapping or what my design was going to be. So sometimes you can just go ahead and make a mess <laughs> or do, like, being a bit rude, do some mixed media on the background is what I mean. Um, I am by no means a mixed media expert, so with me sometimes it does end up being a bit of a mess, but it always seems to come together in my final layout. So I decided to go with this photo of my three. Um, Ava was a little baby. This is February last year, so 2017, on the first day of school. So Ava would have been a couple of months old, and I took I take a photo every year of my kids, and Brielle had to jump in for this photo too, which I thought was really sweet. So it's them in the uniforms. Um, Sam had his hood up, which I wasn't too happy about. But, you know, you've got to go with your kids as they are. And, um, yeah, bare feet wasn't the best either. But I think I may even cover some of that up later. So here is one of the cut apart sheets. This collection is the Crepe Paper Good Vibes, and it's just gorgeous and super fun. And so I thought the Good Vibes Only was a good phrase for the first day back at school because um, a few kids are like mine. They love the school holidays, they love being at home. They do miss their friends, so um, they're not always that happy about the first day of school. But anyway, um, then I took this Distress Ink. It's an um, oxide one, so you're meant to splatter water on it and you get that sort of different effect. Um, but I decided just to use it as a stamp, and that little stamp, I think, think I can't remember if that was in the kit either or one of the gifts but anyway it's just got little dots and I decided to use it so here I've got these frames and I love them so much so I'm wanting to incorporate one into this layout it was too small for my photo I wanted to make sure I had like all of the kids and a bit of our lawn a backyard in it as well I didn't want to cut off their feet or anything or even um, my older two sides of their body so then I thought hey why don't I just put it on top of the little card because it fit perfectly and I loved the way it looked so it brought out um, I guess the colors and tones because it all goes together of course and I love the gold on that frame I'd had that label left over from last the last layout I did I never used it and then I thought this um, weekly little paper was perfect with days of the week and later on I'll trim it down even more just using my distress tool just to distress the edges a crepe paper paper looks really good if you distress the edges um, I think it's the kind of um, distressed look of the paper anyway or vintagey look slightly vintage so this paper is beginning to be written on and so I just cut out one of these to use as a spot for my journaling and later on I will cut out another one because half of this gets tucked underneath the photo. I just loved the um, B side of that paper with all the houses and cactuses or cacti. And so I just looked at the 12 by 12 sticker sheet and found a little house, which I thought was appropriate because this photo was taken at home. I love this paper, this black and white with um, leaves and flowers. And so I wanted to incorporate some of that into my layout. It is um, quite a contrast between sort of the creamy background and the white of this paper, but this is a kit and it's all from the same collection, so it is made to go together and I think it looks fine. I have used a white border on my photo, as you would have seen, and so I've just tucked some behind my photo. And now I'm just sort of fiddling with the elements and getting ready to add more embellishment.
So I want to be careful not to cover up all that mixed media because I did do it to be seen. Um, I do end up covering quite a lot, but that's fine. I mean, that's um, part of the fun, I think, when scrapbooking. If you don't absolutely plan everything out, is having an idea to start with and then going with it and then building as you go along. So I didn't want to move anything too much. I just pick up elements and glue them down. I am using the liquid adhesive because of the texture paste in the background. I think that's the best way of sticking it down. So here I've um, cut that out of my video, but I did, as I said, cut another piece or cut out another journaling spot. And then I just want to put them kind of unevenly because I like the way that looks. And just going through then and realizing some of these bits need more um, glue. So I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. Um, just going through that embellishment pack now to see what I can add. Um, sometimes I want to save all the bits, but um, it's, it's important just to use up what you've got and get it onto the page. So I like that hooray because most parents are happy when their kids go back to school. Um, a couple of these clips are just made of cardstock and I'm just gluing them down kind of color match them actually green with green and pink with pink and then I've taken that little days of the week and I've ripped off the Saturday and Sunday because we don't go to school on those days and then I'm using some dimensionals just to pop up parts of um, my layers that need to be popped up adhering that star cork star with liquid adhesive I'm sorry if you can hear Ava crying in the background she's with Sean um, I will check soon to see what the problem is um, yeah, like I said, adding some dimension behind areas. And then um, these little clips needed a tiny dot of glue just on that triangular piece. Otherwise, they were going to float around and obviously look like they are paper or cardstock. So that's what I'm doing there. Um, adding some gold colour shine before I add my journaling. And I did think about adding some black as well, but I honestly couldn't get the lid off because I hadn't used it for so long. So decided not to fight it and just not have it on there just tucking a sticker under there now it's like the final details little small embellishments a few more dimensional adhesive spots to lift parts that need to be lifted or secured including um, I always put something behind my tag just to lift it up so trying to think what I do next it must be getting to the journaling soon because I don't think I add too much more Having another look at that sticker sheet, those stickers are just absolutely beautiful. I love them. Um, okay, adding um, the word awesome. Sometimes I look at all the elements and forget that there are even phrase or word stickers. So I add this little ampersand. Sorry, that was the door banging. It's just always something going on in this house. Um, and I like that you do you because it's what your kids, it's what you want your, bleh. that is what you want your kids to be, isn't it? To be themselves and not be like anybody else, just to be themselves. So once again, just popping some dimensional adhesive. And then I thought that little cactus um, sticker was super cute. So I have glued that on. Um was a bit concerned about the little house, whether it was going to stay there. I haven't put anything else behind it. It might need to have dimensional adhesive um, on the right side of it because it's just kind of sitting there on the glitter and pom-pom, but I'll pom-poms, but I'll wait and see um, how it holds up. So I put my layouts on display in my dining room. Um, I can fit three on top of my the heater in there, and I just put them on. Um, I've got some thick cardboard, and I just peg them on there. So... Um, depending on how creative I've been they could sit out there for a few days or it depends if I really love the layout it'll sit out there for longer so I'll, what I'm trying to say is I'll be able to see how that sticker holds out and later on I might have to come in and fix it so I'm just calling it first day and then I've got the other um, foam glitter stickers and thickers and just put 2017 um, not a very original um, name for the layout but then I've probably called all of those first day photos the same thing so otherwise if I didn't call it that I might not really know looking back what that photo was it just looks like my three kids or three of my kids looking cute um, of course if you read the journaling it'll make more sense so I am now um, getting the stamp from the color kit and it just said mood and so I thought that was a good way of describing um, 
you know, what was happening, why the photo was being taken, how the kids were feeling. I think I include that. Um, so because that gold colour shine was still wet, I just put that piece of paper down so I wouldn't smudge it. I've so many times smudged um, my mist drops and it's incredibly frustrating. So that's what I'm doing. Um, probably should have sped up this journaling like I always do. For some reason I haven't. Um, yeah, so that's it. I um, trim the bottom off. And here are some close-ups. So thank you so much for watching. I'll be back again soon.